Hello, hello, hello. Today is Monday, October 28, 2024. This is our third problem on nuclear physics, concentrated on nuclear energy. 213, the solutions to 213 lasted 29 minutes. It was a mini lecture. And from the comments that I'm getting from you on my channel, it's obvious that most of you have not watched that solution, which I can understand because it is that long. But that first problem 213, those solutions are crucial for you. It is a mini lecture and there is information in there that you need to do 216 to do 215, to do 214. Yes, there will be another 216 after this one too. So try not to ask me questions of which the answers are already in my solutions of problem 213. Problem 215. The uranium-235 nucleus is able to absorb a neutron to become very briefly uranium-236. The uranium-236 then breaks up into two new nuclei. There are many ways that this can happen. One way is shown in the picture below. You get barium-144 and krypton-89. That's due to the fission. But you also get three neutrons. Look at this picture. Look carefully at this picture. You see, a neutron comes in, 235, which creates very briefly 236. And then 236 breaks up in two pieces, two smaller nuclei, barium-144, krypton-89, and you see three neutrons. So here you see it written down, and in that process, energy will be emitted. That is the result of an increase in binding energy. The binding energy here is larger than there. Notice that the number of protons before the fission, which is 92, is exactly the same as after the fission. Again, 92. See, this is the barium, and that is the krypton. And the number of neutrons is the same before fission, 144, and after fission. However, after fission, the binding energy is larger than before. Thus, there is mass lost. If this is not clear to you now, not yet, watch my 90-minute solutions, my mini-lecture to problem 213, in which I discuss the mass loss in great detail. First question, how much is X? You will have to do some homework on your own. For instance, you have to find out what the binding energies are for the two isotopes, and also what the energy is for the three neutrons. Second question. Why can this cause a chain reaction in a controlled nuclear power plant? Last question. 
but why can it also cause a deadly uncontrolled chain reaction as was a case in the atomic bomb on Hiroshima on August 6, 1945. Put on some of your time. Learn something very basic about nuclear physics. I got my PhD in nuclear physics, but I never taught it at MIT when I was professor there. What I'm covering with a few problems is extremely basic. And it really changed our world. The whole concept of nuclear energy changed our world. <laughs>